Ahoy. Boats. An age of sail. Sail on boats. Is the sailing era a recent boat haver RPG? Has that uncharted waters energy? Sampled a bit of it. It's got a good mix of streamlining some parts of the formula, greebling up others. There are four admirals available for camping. Andrew here, merchant, adventurer, explorersman from Lisbon. Abdul, who fights duel of the one bird. Yunmu over here from Ming reads books. <laughs> and Yoshitaka Shizuma, aspiring boatsmith. Seeker of exotic wood and cloth. Man with four traits. I figure I'll give at least one of these folks a full screaming through. Currently in the process of being selected. I poll. I vote of boat. Audio is going to cut out whenever the window is not in focus. This has both controller and keyboard and mouse support. Pretty decent control scheme in each. I've found myself ultimately favoring keyboard control. Each uh, admiral has traits that incentivize their core deal. Once you're out of the very start of each of their plots, the entire sandbox of mechanics is opened up to you, and there are reasons to have everyone engage in everything. For the most part, I have sampled playing as Abdullah. One of the things that kind of secured my interest in this is that combat is okay, reasonably fun, doesn't take too long. A lot of times fighting in one of these is an ordeal. 
they've hit a good balance. Like, comparable character from Uncharted Waters 2. Kinda always feels like you're cheating by bypassing the fleet battle to just charge directly into the enemy flagship and demand a duel with their admiral. That's the only way to end a fight in a reasonable span of time. Your boat fights are more often decided by exchange of gun, occasional ram. Yun involves interacting with some of, like, the... more of, like, the fresh things that this title brings to the arrangement. Like, scholarship and expeditions are mechanics. Their whole mini-games of finding exotic tomes and discovering secrets from them. Boat making is also a little involved. And like for several of these trades, it's like t two things about it. One, apparently finishing any of these campaigns unlocks that main character as recruitable for other runs of the game. So eventually you could, after doing three full runs, have yourself your, your like true path super fleet of everyone. But then otherwise, a lot of the things attached to these traits are stuff you can accomplish by other means with the other characters. And just having them as a trait on the MC gets you to do that early. Like, that's the main permanent thing from your MC is that you get the XP bonus to their specific thing. So there's like an incentive to go in on their core mechanic in order to embiggen your fleet. Leveling up your officers is one of the main persistent, durable ways that you make progress. Boats will come and go. Crew are frequently replaced. You do invest in ports? Make those big? Wow, the final moments of the boat to rage on. has increased value from discoveries, lower requirements to decode books, and all right. The boat vote is in. 43%. Nerds. on the sea.
yeah, this increase goods profitability off of like I wonder what exactly kind of knowledge do we accumulate to charge up this trade. See. Boats are forbidden. Boats are highly restricted. set in like a non-specific 15th century developed primarily in Chinese. The English translation is there, but at times fragile. here in a library, so the library will have a collection of tomes. The book will be in a language. It have some stat requirements in order to crack open its various chapters and receive benefits. vignettes that also in turn are gameplay relevant. Ruins somewhere on the outskirts of a town on the Ryukyu Islands.
Oil swordsman. All right, just the one. It takes a while. I may as well just. I'll proceed with the event flags until it is finished unlocking the menus. take too long before the full roster of stuff is on display. I am entitled to one boat. Shipyard there will be much to do here in time. Yeah. Look at that. Lead menu is open. All right, first of all, character menu. So far we have our scholar. Unlock her other perks by interpreting five books and trading any 300 goods. So she is good at math. Geography, biology, humanities, and treasure. Has a little bit of leadership, negotiation, observation, and selection. And our bodyguard. Ah, also, yes, has two out of five languages. Leadership, steering, guy who's here to know how to actually use the boat, Shenshi. Yeah, leadership, gun, brawling, observation. Two ranks of ship building already, that's convenient. That means with just like some equipment we can get him to three. Which is what you need to be able to start customizing your boats. as well, just kind of adequate at everything the fleet actually needs. No items yet. Fleet, though. Hey, our first boat. It's there. It's a boat. Oh, you are tiny. You, you are so much smaller than any ship I'm used to using with other characters. The so, boat is made of modules. Each module will have stuff in it do something and you can also throw officers into places to have them perform functions we have 
look out two sail handling or no one sail handling position one fightman position then captain one storage nook chart room pilot room it's so tiny log of knowledge which establish the scale of the map here let's just kind of scroll down the list of ports as yet undiscovered a few yeah you can get all of your uh your quest info and data that you acquire. It's all stored there. do we have here bang poetry dream pool essays celebrated cases of judge Yu, and travelogue of gongshan so need more geography for that more geography and more steering for that humanities and maps Geography. Read this section. Oh, but I need a person qualified for each word. It's an all or nothing thing. All right, so. Geography 4 is probably the first thing to pick up then. Biology for bear. All right. Good to know. We're close to reading everything in that library. like up to four five goods that are available in it that you can just grab kind of as modules i'm not going to start spending any of our budget yet though silk celadon iron ore and tea leaves we have three cargo capacity tiny boat you can also view prices Proportionate to baseline, as well as in absolute 71% on that iron ore. You know what, though? Actually, sure, I will grab a couple of that. One iron and one tea. Just leave a space open in the hole. Though you can also store material you get warehouse space at every port where you can pile up stuff. Hmm. Oh, 
Equipment shop, home of very important thing to afford. Grab as soon as you can afford. Maps. Where what these do is each map will add a couple of ports to your fast travel network. be able to auto navigate between any ports that you have proper charts for We'll find officers somewhere. How far away could officers be? Yes, you can do crew management here. Back into your warehouse, including so supply management for your ships is nicely streamlined. You just set what ratio of your cargo capacity you want to use for for food versus other. Your boat will auto stock whenever you leave port. And off we boat. Places in order to acquire battle data about the market. Okay, make immediate gains on those. Grab some beeswax. Yeah, you get a bit of XP for doing like large amounts of trading in a port. And every port you have a reputation. Building up enough of that lets you unlock investing and whatnot. Uh, nothing to do with the government yet. by which to appreciate world big world very big
other fleets will be out there cruising around. Features will unlock. I'll <laughs> we'll continue to do event flags in order. Pub. Pub is now open. You can buy a round to improve morale. You can replenish. Missing sailors. We are carrying so many people that we don't need to operate this tiny boat. Cut that down to size. Of like 30. We'll have enough for, like, two shifts. Yeah, running fewer crew means your supplies last longer. You're not spending as much on wages. You only need big crew if you're getting ready to go into a fight. And even then, only different fighting styles are crew heavy or crew light. Depends on your boat. Look. Buy drinks. You live on this island now. on the ruins. And there are other folks to consult while we're here. But yeah, miscellaneous NPCs will have things to say like that. Ah, price good price bad. Have you heard of Place? Place is over there. Do you have lamp? Pub is also where you go to uh, spend your XP to level up your officers. gave us our first hundred points of reputation here, which is what you need for permission to go inland. Also unlocks local specialty good. And I'll buy coral. Do you need bees? Not paying good money for bees. Uh, you have bees of your own, understandable. Whenever you do your first land expedition, you will find the Crestfallen Wanderer. The Traveling Old. Get a sample kit of expedition items. These go into a different inventory, they don't take up space on the boat. The 
we have? Two big things and one minor thing that are out there in this location waiting to be found. And since we're departing from a city, we can rent a horse, which contributes all of our cargo capacity. Grab its items and then just get a lot of food. snap into the menu here to consult the rumors that we got. Northeast, deep inland. It's an ore vein somewhere in those mountains. Okay, it's just everything we know about this is text only for now. Sometimes you will get little partial map diagrams. You know things to look for. And often I will pop in here to just clean off the uh, the unread tags. Off we go then. Every step you take costs some supply. Our terrain types can modify this. We have some verbs we can use to interact with the ground generically. No one is strong enough to fight the drunk. He's very powerful best to leave him be. Get up this mountain. It's a lot of meat. Okay, that's probably it. Into the swamp. <laughs> Saw cool rocks, became very powerful. supply left. I just make my way around the other side of this lake. Uh, this map also is persistent for every visit you do. So all the scouting is still of use if I ever return in search of the other discoveries that are here. Get the itch. No one knows how to cure the itch. Magic coin. Itch. Expedition in peril. <laughs> Breaker tree. 
terrible. Another major discovery. Didn't have to expend any of my. Well, the coin was spent. Sixteen thousand XP payout for clearing the rest of the items here. Someday we will solve the mystery of the island. of exactly one line. Somebody into the map chamber. So I guess as well, just before we actually head out. There we go. Menu was being weird about letting me back out. Uh, first though, hey. Leveling up is currently locked. Fine. 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 Although, hey, for... Grab a piece of that coral. Let's hold on to the, uh... Price of beeswax improved while we were out in the yard. Good. Those yields. Guess grab some fish meat. Taking a gamble. already have our supplies. Just go for it. Damn. You hate to see it. Well, I may just have to sell those at a loss to get cash back into the account early on. Things are rough. But eventually...
Someone's talking about books. Take one tiny boat and somehow earn 30,000 smackers. by getting that rumor about Peachwood that actually goes into the logbook formerly as you know that this good is in that place. That's helpful. So... Y'all take the loss. All those... here is still reasonably inexpensive, as are the tea leaves. Don't have enough cash on hand to really try and move silk. Conspicuous brigand cube floating just outside our harbor. And there are like seasonal patterns to where the wind will tend to go, as one might expect from boats. Okay, very tiny marginal gains off hauling that iron. Scraps. The silk prices here are also high. The Celadon, reasonably cheap. 
but we'd have to be taking it to somewhere that doesn't also produce Celadon. I think grabbing the rice wine is the move here. We can haul that wine back. saying the shopkeep is also part of your gang. <laughs> then the port officials are in on it too. How deep does this go? Someone who's good at economy is here to help. Our fleet is dying. All right. Mr. Lu Liu Yan. Lu Li Yuan. Yeah. So, a lot of the business characters will have a perk uh, like this, where there's a cultural sphere that they just do better in. Geography 5 to unlock something, trade 100 gems to unlock something else. Maps and math. Collection, geography. I do need many geographers anyway for book reasons. That's your next many levels already planned. Check off port, check off wine. Have an accountant. Put you on maps. There, we have a loadout. Still not allowed to level up. I think those men are pirates. I think those men are also pirates.
Okay, good. Another complimentary shark. Hopefully, this one will give more destinations. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty comprehensive. This, this is about how big a normal navigational chart is. We have lines on the map. Probably the focal point of my efforts is going to be building up reputation in Changzhou. And then making that my main base of operations, because of course, once we, we've done things up here, we're going to probably also go south. We might boat in more than one direction. Governor? There we go. How are you going to get ahead? How are you going to make money? Well... Have you considered slaying the governor's enemies? Still not allowed to spend levels. I guess I will. As we are going into battle, I will fill up on crew, just in case. Before going into battle, first remember what we fight for. The other kind of books. Okay, we already have that chart for free, that's helpful. That's 10,000 bucks saved, but the rest of books have some kind of prerequisite and give skills or knowledges to an officer. Book of Shipbuilding. Uh, books are also tagged with a language that they are in. Character needs to know that language in order to use it. So some books also teach you a language, so. As you do. All right. Did uh... yeah, Yun is currently the only member of this team who speaks any foreign language. This isn't a normal bounty. Normally they'll have a, a tag on the map for generic bounties. Plot fights though just kind of happen where they need to be. Sometimes you just find snacks in the ocean.
the mysteries. Alright, really though, where is this bounty? Here we go. So, mode fighting occurs in real time. Fortunately, like, basically, for campaign purposes, time is frozen for the duration of the fight. Mode is so small. One gun to a side. You have different firing arcs. For now, we just fire round shot, which does hull damage. The ship runs out of crew or hull, it gets taken out. Uh, your forward and aft guns, if you have them, will just auto-fire when they have a valid target. Filled up on wine. Fortunately, loot like this will stay in the water for a little while. So, I should be able to just pop into a harbor. Uh, the winds are favoring north. We have none boat and all officers. I can rather here. Put you into... Right, we don't even have like a proper workstation worth of gun. Guess you're just on the sails. who is from down south, Indonesian, Khmer. Three languages is pretty useful off the top. Trade bonuses in Java. Sailor, negotiator, observer. Is a sailor. Okay, shop. Please. Yes, good. Wine profit. Just barely. We take that. Very low prices on ginseng. Viciously low prices on ginseng. Two of those. Space for the rest of the loot. And what else? 
is even up here. Oh. Ship parts vendor. For boat building. Did it take some ship damage during that fight? Yeah, the real breakout here would be to buy some, like, larger, more tangible boats. I can get 30,000 in cash and turn it into a boat with which to acquire more cash. Capturing entire boats in battle is a perk that Abdul has. here let's just take a moment it's going against the wind to do it but we'll just claw my way over to the shore to scout out that port that teaches you humanity. Truth here. Yeah, yeah, ginseng money. Many kind of goods are fragile and will suffer harm if left out in the ocean, tanking their value. Fortunately, we can get away with selling some damp cloth. Fine nails, brass, peach wood, very overpriced peach wood. A ginseng did really well, though. All right, let's actually just do a quick back and forth here, because the, the wine also did okay at the other port. That's very overpriced wine, though. Take three brass instead. Just quick sail back over to Korea. Price reports at the stores will give you a vague forecast about which way the numbers are moving. Okay, the brass. Nothing is selling well too here because of the uh, because of the depression. I will throw that into the local warehouse though and hope to sell it later when times are good. Oh, 
because otherwise, hey, that ginseng. In fact, I'll buy all four of that. Take advantage of low prices while they exist. Oh, there's probably also bounty money waiting for me when I actually, uh, bash in, drop the crew to skeleton levels. It's fine. Look at that. We got, we got a month of endurance when using economical levels of crew. It's fine. That'll let me free up more cargo space to haul valuable goods. I probably should have done that there to take the last piece of ginseng. It's fine. How many crew does a boat really need? One? Pop back over there, grab another load of whatever, and I guess go over to the one port we know in Japan. See what goods are there in circulation. Buy into this real deep, get some inventory that we can then shuffle out of here over time. Kind of endurance to eat. Wrong menu. Your warehouse. Reallocate. Yeah, if we can go for a month on three points of supplies. You also get reimbursed if you liquidate supplies you were already carrying. Take some of this brass. I yeah, carry a variety of goods just in case whatever... Whatever conditions we meet at the other port aren't great. Yeah, it's still 20 days of supply, just with one point of food. No problem.
yeah, officially reporting our discovery of the ruins will also be useful. You were not my destination, but you're on the way, Busan. Always looking to discover prices. I'll flip the wax and one ginseng for that. Now our decent prices on tin and saltpeter. Yeah, not much here. Nagasaki. Boom of wine, lacquerware, and charcoal. So the first of the waitresses. They dispense valuable information. Someday we will have map money. A map is like a book in many ways. Oh, 30,000 bucks and five ships to advance the main plot. Yeah, so we're gonna be here for a while. It is time to do the cycles and make the number go up. If 
if you have a decent fighting ship or just a good grasp on the fighting mechanics, bounties are a very effective way to get a lot of money and reputation in a short span of time. I think we will attempt to move merchandise. I think the move here is to just haul whatever from Hanyang over to Naha. And possibly cycle something else on the way back. Doing that until we have money for more boats. Definitely go in on the mediums. Settle for a mere sloop. It's so much more out of like a proper mid range boat or five. Can you miss it with salvage? That could be anything. Okay, it's next. Fine. Someone will eat those eventually. And yes, much like real. Sail Havery. Uh, the patterns of big wind dictate a lot of routes that shipping uses. Many large circles. Take some amount of time for the shops to refresh. Also, ship you. Fast enough that if you're doing like any amount of routine travel, they often back up the stock. So, prioritize first just the ginseng. That is very high yield, just hauling that back over to the mainland. 15 days to get it all the way down to Naha. Or, no, that's our estimated endurance. Estimated time, eight days to get it all the way down to now, huh? All right, let's go.
And while we're just out enjoying the sounds of the ocean, calm and bountiful ocean, ticking off all of these goods. So that entails shipwrecks are very big. Okay, so it's out east further. That's something we could go try to pick up after like doing a rest of a tour of Japan. Named shipwrecks like these are very big. There will be enough stuff in that shipwreck that I would rather have our our proper line of mediums up and running or even thinking about looking at that. Show me what you got. Yeah. That's margins. And buy nothing while we are here. Yeah, sometimes a rumor monger will just give you a price report. You heard about lime? more laps of this and that will be medium ship money. that was food as well. So I should decide which harbor I want to properly situate myself in. Or which yeah, feature list. Yeah, book house is pretty important. Book house and item shop. We got two shipyards side by side. I guess eventually both. Abilities, does Taiwan have like fuck all right now? I don't know if development will actually let you add more. Yes, yeah, so cities have tech, trade, and population ratings. Once you have a guild, you can invest to improve the city. See any gems? Gotta start trading in gems. Okay, markets have not restocked here yet. I'll just buy out the rest of what they have as cheap goods to move somewhere. Uh, 
uh, the ginseng and the... I guess I should move the brass out of here first. Just to jostle that down the line, take it somewhere where it'll be put to use. Drop this off, head into the city, get my, like, discovery reporting money. See where that leaves us. Now this little circuit is our entire world. That's the ocean. You heard of it in books. It's good margins all around. Flip all of that. Here. I do also want to go into that outpost and do more uh, exploration on the shore at some point. I gotta remember to click through that. Prosperity is cooled off there. I guess I can move the rest of that stuff. Now oh, we got plague from Taiwan. Yeah, hold the rest of that material into Shangshao then. Once I have my first medium ship, I will go and look at Japan. Free sword for being good at poetry. Thanks, ma'am. Oh, this is our uh, our local host. All right. Yes. Free sword though. Sometimes they'll just give generic information rather than proper actionable clues. Give the crew a treat, being cooperative. Some say that there is grain in Japan. I don't believe it. Right now, right here with nothing in particular in the hold. Depression is still ongoing out there. Right, the Trade Bureau is our our government office here.
The various facilities all do the same thing, but they're called different things depending on what region you're in. Sir, Big Rock. And with that came permission to trade in Musk. Finally. Stench. That is boat money. One mid-sized boat. My good man. Look at that. A boat. Keep the other one because for now, wood is wood. Dock. Yes, yes, we could have changed sequence, but yeah, ship at the top of the list becomes your flagship. Sign sailor 40. 40 men required to operate that. We'll have to go do some hiring. Whichever ship you make your flagship also receives a sizable buff to its health. It's a nice general advantage. Uh, yeah, 4 and 10 seems like a fine ratio to run at for a bit. The economy. Grab a couple of things to haul down the way. A single experimental batch of stank. That's a proper boat. Ceramics. Okay, Musk is making some return there. Yeah, I'm going to flip all of this out of my inventory for. Oh my, yes. Yes, cheap Celadon. Yeah, that costs nothing. 
load up on that, that 50-50. Grab a thing of wine. Head down the way again, go pick up more inventory in Hanyang. Probably clear out most of our warehouse while we're there. And then kind of recenter. I did all of that, uh, there's also this radial menu that gives quick access to a bunch of functions. Didn't even look at, like, the physical layout of the modules on our new boat here, crew-wise. What did we get with it? Still just the basics, but also two warehouse and two vacant spaces on this medium hull. Everyone kept the roles they had before. Good to see. So... Yes. That's money. That's most of our next boat. Nothing particularly leaps out here, so we'll just be moving on down the road. Or, really, for, I should double back and grab all of that. Just take full advantage of the season. From having played a fight-focused character, I had some concerns. Alright, I, 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 because of the way I clicked that, I queued up a waypoint. Yeah, it's fine, it doesn't take that long. had some concerns that perhaps being focused on commerce wouldn't have... wouldn't have teeth. Wouldn't have as much meat to get into, but it seems fine. It seems fine. Yep, still got that 51%, so just scoop all of that into the boat. No further questions. Grab. One more jug of wine to fill the rest of that. Uh, depression's still on over there, so actually let's bypass Hanyang for now and head over to Nagasaki. does give them time to make more ginseng. Yeah. It's also just generally the case that crossing cultural lines tends to be good for trade prices. Lacquerware isn't in a bad state right now. Load all of that. Spare some cash for map of Japan. That is new boat money, once we cycle these goods out. Hmm. 
Oh, now the depression has moved over here. Well, we better think about cleaning this place out then. Maybe. That must be why the lacquerware is so affordable right now. Yeah, just scoop all that into the warehouse, all the wine. Just to focus on reputation building. All that back to our home base. There's our immediate map of the rest of, well, some of. Get out to Edo, and that's reasonably close to where that shipwreck was. discounted here right now. Yeah, I could grab. Grab tea. Yeah, there we go. There's the big trades. There's moving enough material to actually budge your reputation significantly. I'm gonna have these officers. Let me just check in again on. Not that much closer to anything bears related. Though, also, hey, equipment, sword. Plus one humanities. Acceptable. Thinking sword. Grab this map as well. I think that should point us further south. Yes. Just a little bit. There was a whole second city. Taiwan we hadn't interacted with yet. That routes us down to Macau as well. We'll go manually probe those two ports. Just to get a look at them. You can find them manually, the charts are just helpful. Having the official routes for fast travel, for auto sailing, is infrastructure. Schmied Pinewood. Zinc. Sure, take the tea leaves. Zinc.
beans climbing against the wind, but we will pop down the coast. Dangerous water. The level up button is still locked. Mysterious. We have heard of books. Gift shop is where you can get miscellaneous things to impress hosts with. Flex sports fans. Rope, he leaves that peach wood. I will take the zinc though. Very well, we move volumes. Empty this out here, go to Nagasaki, pick up the stuff in the warehouse, and then move on. What do we also have? Had I left anything else in the warehouse? Over here. Yeah, it's fine. Adventure relates. Fish meat is still kind of pricey. That on the table. Sail on down. Aging mechanic, ships experience a little bit of decay to their max health. How much scales off of how skilled you are at boat maintenance. So if you are quite equipped for that, then it just kind of drops off into not being significant. Ugh. Yeah, finish buying the local dip here. Just clear out the wine, clear out the charcoal. Right, I was thinking though of your so transfer all of that, load up all of this. And let's go find the rest of this country.
I immediately abandoning at first. You like lacquer? You love lacquer. You love imported wine. Who doesn't? Mystery port. Right, we have more maps. Hold on, let's scoot on over there. Yes, once more we have boat money. And yeah, you get access to different kinds of ships in from the shipyards of the different regions. Prices are pretty normal here for the moment. Load up on potassium. Just head out there. Just look around. I've got sailing around money. Also check on what this uh, just provisions. That is a hot spot for shore leave, well, for expeditions on shore. Got to be careful. In the narrows, it's very easy to get hung up on sand. Any harbors up here? I think that bait would have something. Yeah, the shipwreck is out here somewhere. Just in time. There's it. We have heard there is wheat here. So there is. Ah, this place is on fire right now. Eh, we've got to haul things. No, you also have books. Have you heard of the King of Ships? And he's trivia.
Life is like a hotel where all guests who come and go. I think that will be, yes, distilled down into a hint for our quest log. Anyway, there's a prize. Which, okay, we also have this flourishing port here that would be a great spot to liquidate all the contents of that shipwreck. Yeah, we passed by a guy who was looking for this brand of wine. Overall impressions of this have been positive. Pretty competently put together boat him up. And a due east of the little isles there. South more from where I am. Maybe here about. Start scanning. Got lookout mode here lets you detect treasure at the cost of slowing down the boat pretty substantially. Okay, actually closer in, yeah, I should be using more of the archipelagos to calibrate here. Yeah, so south from that, east from that. Can't see any of those other islands yet. Let me scoot on up. Like, yeah, due south of this guy. They're running low on food. It's just money. You'll love to see it. It's running out of supplies doesn't immediately destroy you. It just starts to impact crew health. Then once crew health is low, then people start dying. We should be able to claw our way back to Edo though. Room 
room for 2x sail handling. There we go, that'll speed us up a bit. It is fine. Got there. Just buy new crew. Governor. Alright, we sail. What's more, we need to find goods to offload into this place. Nothing in that bay. Here though, yeah, there we go. こちらの商品は正規品で高性価格でご提供しております。Yes, reasonably often there will be hints for sale at shops. Yes, hello repair box. That that is extremely valuable. How important could math be? Fairly important. I'll take that. There we go. That's that is what I have turned that shipwreck into. So that I can now give you shipbuilding three and repair three, which means now we can modify boats. Make you even better at math. Yes, we may now modify existing boats. Not terribly well yet, but the option is here. So yeah, now we can go in here and adjust all of our modules. Uh, what gear will be available depends on how much the uh, the tech rating of the harbor is. So let's see, we have two forward spaces, one armor, one aft space. Yet again, the two. We need additional expertise to be able to take these sections and convert them into more usable warehousing. We do not know the cabinet extending technique. We could do things like adjust the sails. Or remove extraneous weapons. change what kind of wood the boat's made of. I've yet to see any shipyard offer upgrades or adjustments to the main guns. But for now, I think a move to commit to is I'm willing to give up our bow cannon in exchange for more sails. Just briefly glance over at the stats there. So, square is your speed when the wind is at your back. 
luff is how well you handle going like across or upwind and rowing when available is speed that ignores the wind because you, you're just having lads push the boat with a stick. So, seems like definitely the sails we've defaulted to very flexible. May as well commit to that. This is a ship of peace and exploration. Probably actually gonna sell the little one once it's time. You don't have any mediums for sale. What of your goods? Ikerware, swords. Not the worst price on swords. Give me your swords. We'll move these swords down the road to the other port, probably. Yeah. I'll load up on swords. And with that, we have every port in this region now known. Which, I believe, also means that somewhere in these menus I can now go ahead and unlock something. Knowledge. It's somewhere in here. Figure it out later. For now though, swords. Swords are big news. Although, take these swords across cultural boundaries. Yeah. We have two prospering harbors. I also want to make my way back to my main shipyard. about getting more mediums. Those sword profits. Hundred and ninety-two percent price one. Alarming. Oh, let's go unload like everything else from the Hanyang warehouse and the Nagasaki warehouse, I guess. The time is right. Have any? Yes, you do have mediums for sale. All right. Number two. Where, furthermore, only the flagship actually benefits from having like the the specialty modules in it. Things like the map. Well, the map room and the pilot house, I think, are. Oh no, I can't overwrite them. All right, so over here on this thing could strip out both of those to increase raw cargo capacity. While also... Yeah, common hard sale.
the armor mechanics, it's not giving a preview here, but uh, the idea is uh, the protection rating there is like the probability that your armor will catch any given attack. Lighter armor has less damage reduction, but better coverage. But like if I were to swap in the light wood armor, now I have a 40% chance of blocking, but I'd have to go to another menu to see it. The shot this does block, it doesn't block as heavily. Such are the moves. Not going to worry too much about optimizing sails yet. I can definitely... The pilot house has to be there. But you don't need a map. You just follow the lead boat. Carrying as much cargo as you can. Yeah, now we flourish. Now we... Okay, prices for new goods have returned to normal here, so we'll just empty the warehouse. And we also need to grab more sailors. Copper, get as much of the beeswax as we can. And cut the supply margin even tighter. 4 and 20. That's logistics numbers. Keep making the trades. Which also, if it's if it had seemed at a glance like the crew count for our first boat was unusually large, that is because the uh, the health boost for the flagship also applies to crew. Yes, yes, yes. That's a boat just on its own. Love to see it. And they're still depressed, so I should go over there and actually buy up more of their stock. No shipyard here. Stop in Hanyang and get another boat off of them. Rig it for even more cargo capacity. This is good economy. The fleet is healthy, the numbers go up. Available in there. Uh, so, by building a new ship, you take ship parts and 
additional optional materials, throw them into the machine, and a boat falls out. You have blueprints, then you can choose a specific whole form and know what you're going to be getting. Otherwise, it's all up to chance. Grab the rest of the wax. One more boat, and we'll be able to officially check off that objective. Think about one. So presumably the next step of that would be to go inland and find the one monastery that produces his favorite wine. Somehow monetize our discovery of this amazing secret. Yes, good. Still those desperation prices. Give me your lacquer. of cash on hand to buy all of that right now. Like, three of those. crime to solve. Maybe he'll perish. Who knows? Oh, that car that carrying capacity though, look at that. What a haul. This is still only a fraction of our power. Story continues over there, and that's great for them.
Unfortunately, quests in this, like, plot quests never have time pressure attached to them, as far as I have seen. Generic contracts do. Bounties have deadlines. Deliveries have been at deadlines. A man being poisoned and ambushed by assassins, though? Yeah, that's fine. That's whenever. Don't worry about it. That's like the one fully untranslated text box I have seen. It seems to just be the you're low on supplies while auto sailing warning. It's fine. It's the it's fine alarm that tells you that everything is fine. If you're worrying about it, don't. Okay, I'll grab another load of stuff from Nagasaki and perhaps deliver some of it to Edo, stopping in Sakai on the way. Time I can buy up all of that cheap lacquer wood. You'd better still be desperate over here. That's 80% on the charcoal is also still fine. Just give me your planet. It all fits in the boat. I'm gonna have to upgrade a harbor just to have it move enough material. The challenge, our newfound might. You only sell smalls, your shipyard is garbage. Stop in Sakai on the way back. Yeah, first get the money. Uh, my fleet! My lacquer! No! How dare you! This is incredibly rude. Okay, if this is how they're going to do it, I'm just going to go ahead and take advantage of auto saves. We'll just not go over there right away. Take my business elsewhere. Now, there are reasons to use smaller ships. The primary one would be that for exploration, when all you need to do is get to a place in a boat that exists, then your overhead operating costs are lower if you just have a small fleet and a skeleton crew. For fighting and for business, it's mostly larger ship is better. So for fighting, there is room for smaller ship to have advantage over larger ship because of maneuverability. 
生意兴隆。I think the move to do here go to Macau pick up a bunch of stuff sell it back at home port Then I'll actually put a bunch of these ships in storage and go do a fight with just the flagship. Because without some more combat relevant upgrades and like enough officers to put fighting men on all of my boats. In exactly this situation, having more boats at a fight is a bit of a liability. Yeah, that's margins on everything but the tea leaves. Tea leaves are basically unaffected right now. Although... Yeah, goods are goods. I can find them. A worthy home. So much capacity. I just grab another boat. You only have smalls. If I cut my supply margins even closer for this one short hop. Do this. Yeah, you know what? For for the sake of boosting my reputation here, let's also just go ahead and trade on the musk iron. Yeah, 
来对地方喽。One more medium. Now I just need the cash. Hey, 客官，请上座吃酒。It's fine. The only biscuit that matters is the last one. Ratio back to something a little more sensible. Yeah, thirty seventy. One more loop of this. Go report success. Possibly unlock the ability to level up our officers. Think about ditching one tiny boat. Yes, I must say, Hoten no Shinsei Hu, Zehi, Goran Kudasai. Definitely feeling the power of using ships as a business. Just off of trading, that is the first level of permission in this city. So particularly rude that the way that it popped up meant I started separated from all of my ships. So I couldn't even like try to run interference for them. Oh, that's the plan. I can head over there, loaded, ready for battle. Mm. 
a map. Act Real? Impossible. Mansion is now present. The Okay, I think that that has done it. If the Commerce Guild is now here, which also so this is they will have requests for goods. Deliver the goods, receive the bounties. That means high quality material, which means you need to have the appropriate Skills. Skills and facilities. Yes, now we can spend XP. There's just a global experience pool for the entire fleet that you spend into your officers at your discretion. Every 15 levels, you get to put a point into one of their uh, their traits here. So, geography. We're reading books. And the cost of levels increases the further along that you are. You are fight man. Your eventual destiny is to be like captain of one of our escort ships. We'll make you good at punching. And throw the rest into businessman. runs, it has been noticed that while there are many large navigable rivers on the map, they don't seem to have anything in them. This might be the campaign where you're allowed to unlock the secrets of deep rivers. It's a lot like a board game.
second wave. There are combo attacks. You have captains on your other boats. Change tips. Yeah, that's a good stuff. Leads on loot. Pressure just a little upriver. And a shipwreck just out in the bay. Before heading out back to books. Ah, I need someone who is both a geographer and a steersman in order to complete that. Alright. The Dream Pool essays. Need more map knowledge. of humanities too. Yeah, so even handing you the sword wouldn't help with that. You need to either make my scholars good at boats or my boaters good at scholarship. This one, though. No, but an officer can only be on one position, so I need a second nerd. Properly qualified. We're gonna have to eat so many books. Biology 4. Well, the mysteries endure for now. Shipyard now. A starter garbage ship just just vanish into the dust never to be seen again give me more medium boats I do not have permission to establish a guild yet Modifications, though. Knowing that I am about to go into a fight. Would give up. No, I actually don't have blueprints for gun rooms. I guess the only thing I can really do to improve fighting capability is adjust the wood armor. Do metal plating here yet? Maybe put 
forward guns back onto the ships. So the uh, the aft castle here improves your uh, your close quarters boating damage. Once you've gotten right up next to somebody. Chain shot is available. For the bow guns. He's done up for cargo capacity. Okay, I've circled back around to the front of the squad here. Everyone is set up. Fully geared up and thirty cargo capacity, forty eight total points of uh storage space. Powerful. So, just to be done with it, we will head out there and do this fight. Possibly also visit that landing site just to have its name down. to salvage the cargo that was in a ship that goes down, though it will have been roughed up by the experience. Right. 
do this fight, process the aftermath of this fight. Go in at manual speeds so that the fleet is actually properly formed up and ready to go. So, unfortunately, our boats are not great for boarding. Uh, the upside of that is that because they surrendered rather than sank, we can retrieve that boat intact after the fight. Drawbacks of using Captain Super for boarding. If you don't set them up with an appropriate attack ship, there. They traded well. The two of our ships have been incapacitated but not actually sunk. So we got it. Prizes though. Alright, yes, retrieve boat. It's fine. Use the surplus crew from the other ones to Yeah, get everyone back together. Approximately. Not doing any expeditions right now. Get out of this bay. At times, boat becomes stuck. survived. I could probably build an adequate medium knife fighting boat and put my fighting captain in charge of that and the second fighting captain that I'm probably about to receive. Cash is low, though. 
ちゃいませ本店の新製品をぜひご覧くださいFirst must get paid. No substitute. Depression in Busan. Nagasaki's back to normal. And there's a depression in Sakai itself. Do a quick couple of laps. Gotta restock. Discounts on swords. Also, ship you. Joy is in the pummel. Pugging it was a yo. Sail its way over. Actually, gonna step away for a moment.
Relax and enjoy business. Permit may as well for our survival. Small offering for the Buddha. To go look into those treasures. Drunken swordsman, welcome to the team. <laughs> yep, pretty straightforward fight man. So we now have another cultural sphere where we have passive trade bonuses. 40 technique and 20 charm to unlock his third ability. Do an event to get. off on leveling you until I can like go over book requirements in more detail once we have books money to spend any secrets can be acquired through books Yang is now thriving. Let's go.
All right, and also did I, I did not use that map that I got yet. We now know of exactly two south. And right, the horn is plus brawling. That goes to you. Things are fine. Times are good. I should go buy out the rest of those swords. Swords and just anything I can grab in Busan and just channel all of it over here. a sweep of that. Go get those two treasures that are near the mouth of the river. And I guess do like a delivery contract for the home board so we can get a guild established. Now that we have some proper weight to throw around with this bleed. It only takes a few trips of high yield merchanting to get like real money that we can toss into ventures. That times are still good. Load up. Everything you've, well, almost everything you've got. We'll be back for the rest later. Do it, Bergens. Also, ship you. Join in the pummel. Cooking a boseo. Look, the sailors only fear our budget practices on their first voyage. Once they see the yields. And they know. Good, go grab the rest. Yeah. 
move everything else out of Bissan for the month. Oh, you refreshed a little bit. Good to know. And eventually I'll be able to invest in places and get the market depth a little, a little farther up. work out nicely for an all-purpose medium ship. And that's before unlocking the rest of their hidden potential with as yet unacquired manuals. Sakai is still depressed. Go over there. Probably they'll have fresh lacquerware ready and we will just drag all of that back to the home city for reputation. And something about... There's something over there in the bay that we can try to find later. Okay, right, here's, here's the achievement list. So we have blueprints for the accounting room. Uh, installing additional map rooms. Dragon badge. Just cosmetic. The officer's room. Completing three bounties is what lets us install additional guns. Checking more medicine will give us the medical facility. Getting more food will give us the kitchen. It's unclear what the mansion does. I haven't seen anything happen there yet. Equipment store, hey. We have swords, abacus, and right the craft box. I have no further business with you.
Yes, for uh. Installer enforcer there, and for side quest purposes, I may as well. Go about doing this, do the practice fight. So, right over here. This will be less intense, only slightly. Medicine prices are crashing. You go on. Are any of the ports down south here having... A slump. Not really. If I liquidate my treasure hall from the other stuff, that might help it. Look at the contracts. Tin, easy. Brass, also easy. Rubies and sapphires, we don't have a source for yet. Salt, likewise. Ginseng, though, yeah. 20 days to sort these out. You got it. That'll be quite a bit of rep. So, practice bout. Over here. So, that is the maneuver. When you have supporting captains, sometimes one of them will point at a target and then everyone can pile in for a combo attack. So, other things I was doing... Shipwreck over there. Treasure rumor on the river. And what the things I needed to bring in were ginseng. In. And well, I don't have to speculate. I can just scroll through my contracts. Ginseng, brass, and tin.
have a lockbox. Various wares. Now we're a scholar. If <laughs> spear armor, you can have armor. Or Bright, you need to change what equipment slide you're pointing at. You can have a knife. Discovered. A depression in the brass market, you don't say. Constantly accosted by whales. There we are. Hello. Hello. Many, many fine wares. And Han Yang is still bustling, so we'll be right back for that brass in a moment. Strong voyage. Clues are worth looking into. Yeah, that's at that landing site. Also, ship show. Joy is in the pummel. Cooking a bossy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and there, it's our uh, shopping bonus starting to take shape. Yeah. Yeah. That's money. Met anyone who sells limes. And the tin vendors are also depressed. Interesting. Do go on. I'm gonna buy all sorts of items any day now. Oh, 
어떤 음료를 마시겠습니까? 어서 오십시오. 저희 신제품을 구경해 보세요. 어서 오십시오. 저희 신제품을 구경해 보세요. Drop all of the nitrogen and silver. Hold on to the tin. Yeah, six of each. to this just into the warehouse since I have the capital on hand for it. All due respects to the Buddha. Swords, clothing, wizard robes, and stargazing equipment. Yeah, actually, let's grab some of these. Clothing for you. Cartography knowledge as well, I guess. It's not like there's anything stapling the equipment to the characters, so... This can all be cycled onto folks as needed. in these contracts. Use that to open the guild. Drop a bunch of money. Into the city so we can start building up a better yard. Oh, 
but he will try. Pay me none to pay. There we go. Four hundred rep. That's basic guild operations and raised investment cap. A little more, and we can have uh, tax exemptions. Guild. Yes. One stamp. So, our own guild. Let's us get into this. Whereby improving the stats of the city, you gradually unlock more features. Big one being the, uh, the trading fleets, which you can dispatch to automatically haul goods from other cities in the area over to your establishment. pile every month some cash gets converted over into city stats and a lot of local price margins normal Alright, let's haul more material. Slam it directly into this bubble.
어서 오십시오. 저희 신제품을 구경해 보세요. stuff again. Start grabbing things out of the warehouse and we will haul this again. In fact, it now highlighted in a nice pleasant teal to let you know that this is yours. You live here. Your stamp has been applied. Pour more of that in there to max out our rep. Start with the bookstore along the way. There's a depression there, we'll have to slide in there and grab even more goods. Show then the tea leaves are not worth hauling on this trip. The wine is though, the wine, the spikes, the brass, the wood. Powerful. Okay, the prosperity has dropped off. Still, though, we have a lot of inventory of discount goods to shuffle off into perhaps the next bubble, which could be anywhere. Just a little more tech to get the trade fleet active. And importantly, more tech will unlock more modules at the shipyards. We can get lime juice. 
Alright, let's take lime and buckets. Might want more camping supplies at some point. Books. If Shen knew geography, or Yun knew steering, two ranks of steering on Yun. Although that wouldn't resolve the problem of we need a different scholar to, uh, Lou only needs one more rank of geography to be able to handle the first first point of that. Yes, that would be the way to do it. And steering on our admiral is important anyway, since she is stuck with the job of being a captain. One more point of maps. Or wait. One more point of maps, either way. Which I think it would also still be useful for our... For our leader to know things about... Need a biologist. Or a geographer. Lou gets one rank of geography. Not at the shipyard. At the pub. That's another book unlocked. Think about birds. Australia. Terrifying. Getting Yun a rank of biology. There are a lot of skills that need to go into Yun. Some of which we might be able to find with items. Mostly, though, we'll have to eat a lot more books. Strange bird. There's much to learn of the world beyond. Uh, 
财源广进，生意兴隆。More inventory. Think about the bookstore. Just while we're here, remind what skills are in it. Leadership steering manual. Steering manual. Essentials of boat warfare. Cooking, music, maps. Maps also important. Ship making. Gun, observation, sword, land. Okay, I could have acquired that geography using books as well. And humanity, and okay, there was a biology manual as well. Of course, everything is written in books. Just eat more books. Make all of the money, turn it into books. Turn the books into clues. Use the clues to make more money. That's the fundamental cycle. made here so I'm not gonna get any returns on selling those here. I'll have to head somewhere else nearby. Also around demand for things from the Ming Empire, you say. And okay, yeah, that's that's much further south. We'll be down that way eventually. It's yours, my friend. That's book reading money.
生意兴隆。Needs more tech before being allowed to read the steering manual. All right. Just got that in hand, though. Hey, 客官，请上座吃酒。Oh, also to learn another language. Well, that's just more books to read. Was that books? <laughs> Is that free books? Okay, not the usual sort of books, though. That is a plot item of some measure. Also, because we've visited every port, the bulk of the map for the region has filled out, which is handy. Anyway, let's take advantage of more low prices in the Empire. Also, I would need to make sure that oh, I have stuff in the warehouse still as well. Let's call that out. Make sure that the goods in question are actually tagged. If I'm even allowed to filter by that. Yes, the Ming Dynasty tag, so wine, yes. Silk, yes. Belladon, yes. Holding fans, yes. Plenty of stuff here.
prioritize the wine, the beechwood, probably the tea. the metal and the nails behind for now and I guess this buff if it really does just reliably occur seasonally that's a lot There's 200 favor. We could now also set up a guild here if we wanted. Hold off on it for the moment, though. Could have that progress on hand. Ginseng is not flagged. Could just grab grab it as stuff to move though. Still wanna just throw a bunch of additional raw commercial volume back into the home port for investments. Yeah, this is actually the ideal port to hit up to do another run to Naha, so... Check in back at home base. And then, as long as the trends hold up, inventory will move.
Yes, there we go. Trade fleet exists now. So I can deploy this to other ports. And it will drag over relevant materials. And depending on local climate conditions, like if, if you're doing it during the good wind, travel costs will be lower. Plan up to three months at a time. Bring me swords. And that's enough to get basic metal plating on our ships. Just a touch, just a cladding. Menacing pirate cubes. Sure, the trend is still going. Never mind, new trend, people dying of plague. You hate to see it. So what else is new? Depressions, depressions, depressions. Normalcy. I guess if I bring this to Anping, I was meaning to like look around this area a little more before heading out entirely. The Americas are trending. No one even knows what they are. And that's the appeal. Dropping back down to manual sailing speeds for a moment. Pressure. Suit of body armor.
财源广进，生意兴隆。Mm, those are pretty tiny margins. Let's take this stuff south instead. Let's find Manila. Something like it. Well, there it is. <laughs> Mystery solved. Tell me the secrets of the Nile. Also, sell me a map. Two points of gun in that armor. It's pretty good armor. Selamat datang, Silvia Product baru kami. There we go. These are slightly better margins for just bulk export. I'll take those. And everything made here is reasonably cheap. Let's just load that in. Bring that home. Hmm. 
bagaimanakah dengan perniagaan? And yes, this is a plot contract. It has no deadline. Sell it on tea leaf tortoise shells. We will come to an understanding. Up this map. Yeah, that gives us the next leg of the journey south. Shell is up in Edo. Where there is currently a depression. fleet. Keep at it. And the investment pools are still going. Yeah, especially with the bonuses starting to kick in. Prices are crashing, excellent. Yep, that all checks out. Yeah, well enough. Yes. 
っしゃいませ。当店の新製品をぜひご覧ください。Yes. These pop back to base, go finish the contract. Take that first bite out of the next leg of the plot. Yes, I must say, Totten, the Shin Se Hu, Zehi, Goran Kudasai. Oh, did the depression clear up just as I rocked into port? Yes. Now instead it is Sakai, which is sad. Well, either way, I still need the stuff. Remember to make donations there. There, good. A blessing. The books you got here? Nothing that we can read at the moment. Oh wait, we do have a translator now. don't have enough qualified. You only need one rank of observation to be good for that. Then... Geography and Humanity. I gave you one of my swords or Taoist robes. You would be fine for that. That book is almost doable. We don't have a musician. We need two musicians for that. Don't have anyone fighty enough. Ah, that's a powerful book. That's more music. Yeah, things for later in this library. Pick up some cheap swords while we're passing through.
远广进，生意兴隆。趁顺风，不要误了时辰。Alright, so that's all the material for the contract. And just bring along. Musk, and I guess some iron. Prices on T end. Celadon are down. May as well. Also scrape more of those along. A proper business frenzy. Yeah, they get the damp stuff. And you say this port is in a depression. And full of silver. Go on. <laughs> so much business, but no time for books. could be exchanged for books.
Sila Dudo. Alright, so I guess all of the like mansions and palaces then might just be places where the plot happens <laughs> for the respective campaigns. So you say prices are low. Also, there's silver here. I will take what you have. So I can still get good returns off of everything but the tortoise shell. Yeah, just flip all of that here. Before circling back up, yeah, the prep room, now available, prepare the goods. Someday when we have a large ship, there'll be room for all kinds of portable industry. the number that makes our generic commerce bonus go is just like percentage completion of the of the uh of the log That is not terribly far from here, so let's go get that. That's like over here-ish? We can go find a few other ports while we're at it. So we've attained knowledge of all forms of commerce. There was a harbor tucked away in here. Must be on the other side. Or further along. We have supplies for a while. There's, there's plenty of things out here. Treasure, you say? Yeah, there's stuff out here. That's gotta be it. Yeah. Yeah? No? Yeah. Apakah yang hendak kamu minum? of my experience into young preferably Selamat datang sila lihat produk baru kami Home of Wood Pound Wood Island
But we'll need to offload this cargo somewhere. Make room for that shipwreck. Once I do find it. It's over here somewhere. That's just launch. West from the tip. That, so more like over there. Which is also on the way to the port that I'm looking for. Well, it's one of the ports that I'm looking for. Part of deciding to go everywhere, too far south. Shadin. Home of a post, which is home of rumors of a stank. Selamat datang, Silvia Product baru kami. Bananas are sensitive to temperature, so it was the wood. No one wants to buy damp fur, understandable. The gunpowder is fine, though. Prices for the rice are a bit high. This turtle shell has been cracked, alright, that's perishable. We'll get rid of it. Apologize to the Buddha. Buddha offers whales very well. Stay around 11 degrees north. Of silk and porcelain. Good haul.
is tagged as from the dynasty. on back home now. I guess also while I'm hanging about here. Give you the gun armor. Plague out. Yeah, this seems to, still seems like my best option here. All three of those are reasonably high density goods. rolling eventual dream of just fully embiggening this city how is local reputation with the bureau improving probably do some contracts for them or I could go discover things buy books maybe some other things as well Oh, 
身驾驶，童叟无欺。Alright, I hadn't offloaded any of my uh, my other cargo. That would probably do something. Let's see, where could I where could I flip that? Well, really, just unload it back. At home. Take the lot over to Nagasaki. Then go on that expedition. Seeds. Need more tech to understand maps. Biology, though. Easily done. That's a bit of market activity.
the nerds and the bodyguards. as much food as they can carry. Can't really carry that much food as we are, unless... This time we know how to defeat the itch. Overall, we're very close to, like, the south edge of the map. Dig for lunch. Don't really have specific leads on this. Breed field ninja. Like, the way that X is placed almost seems like I should actually leave here and just go look on the world map. But this place has been highlighted. There's something going on here. Pushing the limits for one journey. A little bit of progress on the map. Oh, and that costs only a tiny fraction of our, like, boat level supplies. An expedition of actually four people and not the entire fleet. Anything over here? Dowsing. <laughs> that might be it over there. Very low on health. 
gem, though. It's fine. Everyone else successfully dragged Yun back to the boat. So much was learned. This time to mostly due north, try well. Pressures. An even more powerful drunk. up a little bit of weight. Purple. I made this. I found this. fishing. At least not succumb to the itch. As long as someone makes it back to the start alive, we get something. off after that. An entire discovery. Prosper prosperity, though. 
What's more, it is time to offload materials. Yeah, sure, I'll liquidate those here as well. Chilling Haruga Chumbiga, Tendayo. Mm, choice of additional perk, though. Steering. Yeah, steering. Do you need to know things about how boats work? I suppose. We have seen most of this map already. May as well use the power of horse. Explore more thoroughly. Just travel things. Not oh, the exposed bands. Get that copper. Ooh. 
Thank you, bird. Just give it smooth. Fresh. Thing to do is to just head up over into this corner. Seem to be out of map. I guess some things won't appear unless you have a proper lead for them. Report this discovery. Come tax exempt. Possibly interpret another book. Sending the fleets outside of whatever area their guild office is situated in is a bit, a bit pricey. The real tech seems to be to establish at least one, like, distribution hub per zone. Use it to collect things.
prepare. One rank of maps. It's all she needs. that book. Even more, even more profit margin while we're here. Come ungovernable. Liquidate our supply of swords and lacquerware. So, much accomplished in an initial five-hour business frenzy. If someday we will discover a bear. But hey, 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 hi, 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 very important 50,000 bucks to spend. Now we are powerful. Now each of our ships is two more modules, and someday. When we invent even larger ships, a lot can happen. Like, yeah, let's see, for the flagship, yeah, probably accountant and prep room. Oh, and the prep room reduces the, uh, reduces attrition on goods. Yeah, let's get both of these installed. So, like, yeah, I could phase out those bits of cargo space for other facilities. So now, the other boats just get even more warehouse space in them. And in the event that we had to, like, refit the fleet for combat, I could put a lot of guns in that space. Yes. Did I get... All of them. Yes, good. I 
Just like that. Total cargo capacity now 64. Potential to economy. Guess as well. Thing to do next time is to go south. Don't quite have enough cash on hand to do all of that. Still, though. Big business. next time.